Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about the CEO of Crypto.com and the price action for the CRO token. Today, we're getting to move up and the CEO is speaking out and bringing some very interesting information via a retweet and a little tweet from himself as well, showing the direction that this token is headed, showing the direction that this exchange is headed. To the top. I do believe that the crow coin is going to perform very, very well in this next bull cycle. I got a lot of faith in the crypto.com team because it is clearly one of the most regulated exchanges. But today I want to share some specifics on what I'm so hyped about today as Chris Marsliak is tweeting up a storm. So I want to share that with you and look at the price action on the day. If you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Welcome back, everybody. Let's get right in. So Chris Marsliak Put out a couple tweets recently. First off, let's start with this one. A retweet of some very interesting data. He says, slowly but surely. Well, what is Chris Marsliak talking about? He is talking about this tweet right here. Quick update on centralized exchange volume. Crypto.com is on track to surpass its December 22nd spot trading volume of $31.9 billion. That's a 19th month record, beating major competitors like KuCoin, Kraken, Ranking up from spot 11, Crypto.com is now the ninth largest crypto exchange in terms of spot volume with a little bit over 3% of global spot volume. Uh, for contest, the second largest exchange up it has 8.2% of global volume. This is a good trend we're seeing for Crypto.com. They go through a lot more detail here on this, but I'm just going to kind of share with you some of that because the point is, Chris Marsliak is doing a great job of getting vocal and promoting some very good data. We've talked a lot about on this channel how I personally and my partner on this channel, Black Sea, believe that the Crypto.com exchange is going to be a major player in this bull market. And we have seen exchanges like Binance in the past who recently had their CEO uh, get into some legal trouble with the United States, had to pay some billions of dollars worth of fines, and now is probably going, he's going to be facing sentencing later this year and probably face some prison time even here in the U.S., We've seen that exchange explode and have a crazy bull market and seen things move up in a big way for the BNB token and the Binance chain. Well, Crypto.com has their own smart chain as well. People are building dApps, decentralized applications, and DEX is on top of Kronos as well, which is an EVM-compatible chain. And I do believe it's going to compete with the likes of Binance, which again is in some legal trouble. Not only that, they are focused on their mission. Chris Marzak with another tweet saying, hitting $1 billion this cycle and crossing the chasm. It is all but inevitable. There are 8 billion people on Earth. 1 billion users is a very significant goal for crypto as an industry overall. That is one-eighth of all the humans on Earth. And Crypto.com, one of their main messages on their website and that Chris Marzak is toting out right here is, one billion users is coming to cryptocurrency. We just saw the largest asset managers on planet Earth get into Bitcoin with the launch of these ETFs recently. Now we see Hong Kong looking to launch their own spot Bitcoin ETF. Inevitably, crypto is going to continue growing. And one of the most regular stated exchanges in the world, Crypto.com, as you see from Chris Marsliak's tweets here, is definitely moving in the right direction, despite what people might be feeling right now. Crypto.com put out this tweet, which I thought was hilarious. I want to share with you guys. Look at this right here. Mood without price action on your altcoin bag. I'm sure a lot of crow coin holders are feeling that way right now as we've been around and below 10 cents for quite a while. We still had some pretty good gains from the bottom of this market, but I know a lot of you guys are waiting for a move up. Well, good news today. We are getting a little bit of a move up. It looks like that is the trend right now as Bitcoin is moving up still. Earlier today, we were at about 43, uh, you know, and now we're at about 43.1. Let's see if Bitcoin can keep moving up, then I'd expect Crow to keep moving up as well. My next target, we might see some resistance at around 8.6 cents. If we can break through that, we're going back to 10 cents, folks. The key is Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is on a crazy bullish trend as of late, and that could cool off. We have one, two, three, four, five green months in a row. This January month in 2024 just turned green. Eventually, guys, I expect to see some kind of pullback. We've already seen a couple 20% pullbacks since Bitcoin has hit the bottom uh, of the bear market and has been moving up, getting ready for another bull market. And inevitably, I expect Bitcoin to pass all-time highs, same as the Kronos token. Previously, we saw the Crowcoin achieve almost, 
almost achieve a dollar in the last bull cycle. You know, some people in my live stream today were saying Crowcoin might not pass a dollar. A lot of people are talking about a dollar and maybe we won't even get there, right? Or maybe that's where everybody's going to take profit. I think the crypto is a lot bigger than that. And I think that the crypto.com exchange, if they continue heading in the right direction, are going to remain a key player in this space and become one of the top five, maybe even one of the top three exchanges in the world in the future. Regulation is key. They are very compliant with a variety of countries. And along with that, I think that the Crow coin price is going to do very well. I expect the Crow coin to surpass $1. My prediction is two to five bucks for this next bull cycle for this token. And I'm sticking with it, guys. I love seeing some information being spread out by Chris Marzak, the CEO of Crypto.com. I think good leadership is important. Chris Marzliak has been very patient throughout this process, relatively quiet, but lately has been getting a little more vocal. Could it be because he is very excited about what is to come in this next bull cycle? I'm thinking so. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below on the recent growth for the Crypto.com exchange and the recent statements from Chris Marzak, the CEO. That's all I got in this one, guys. I am Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash the like button. It's the number one thing you can do to support the channel. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to get alerted of all our live streams. Monday through Friday, we're doing live streams for you guys. And we're doing five videos a day in general. If you want to become a member on this channel, you can do so in the link in the description down below. You get access to our private Discord where you can talk directly with Black Sea, me, and the rest of the Crypto Report community. Also, if you want to take advantage of some of the volatility in these crypto markets, make sure you take advantage of our sign-up link for Femex. When you deposit money into Femex, you get some free money uh, as a bonus upon depositing some funds in there. If you want to start leverage trading, that's one of my favorite apps to do so. You can use it on your iPhone personally. I'm not leverage trading right now, but I know that a lot of people are making a lot of good money with leverage right now. So if you want to take advantage of it, please be cautious, guys. But it's there for you if you want it. That's all I got in this one, guys. DCA, HODL. I'll see you in the next one. Two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. See you next time, folks. Peace.